Harry and Meghan to split in 2022 as pressure from expensive people to boost brand Sussex. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are set to split up their work next year to each focus on causes closer to them, a royal correspondent has claimed. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have allegedly been advised by the collaborators to split and work independently for a strong political voice, royal expert Neil Sean claimed. The royal couple stepped down from their senior working roles within the royal family in 2020, with insiders claiming Meghan struggled with not having her own political voice anymore. The Duchess is reportedly contemplating taking on a bigger role as an activist in support of wider societal equality. Mr. Sean told his YouTube channel, it looks like in 2022 they could be heading for a split and here's the reason why. Those very expensive people that they pay thousands of pounds to every month from all of those deals that we all report on basically said, look it would work better if you were independent of each other. He claimed, as we know Meghan Markle wants to become some sort of political figure whatever story they're painted out that is the true story. She wants to become an activist and of course a champion of rights whether that be women, men, trans. That seemingly does seem to be the route that she wants to go down. He continued, and as we told you on the show a couple of days ago, her not having a political voice was one of the major reasons why she decided to quit the royals. Now, Prince Harry has set his cap at all the things to do with will being unhappy mental health balance all the things that really matter in the real world because of course he's so connected to that. But on a serious note, I do agree with him on some of those elements, if you're unhappy you've got to change your life but really as a lot of people are saying on this channel. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex announced the launch of their new foundation after they moved to California to live independently from the royal family. An insider claimed Meghan always relied on her own voice to stand up for others, and for herself and struggled with the deactivation of her own blog The Tig. They told US Weekly, she's always been so independent, her entire life, and that's all been taken away from her. She's always been able to clap back on social media and now she can't. Meghan Markle closed her personal social media accounts as under royal protocol members of the royal family should only have officially managed accounts. Meanwhile, Queen vows to press on with family Christmas lunch despite soaring Omicron cases, with 50 family members invited to Windsor next week before she heads to Sandringham. The 95-year-old monarch is pressing on with the event at Windsor Castle, which is expected to welcome 50 or so relatives, including Prince Charles and Camilla. And while three of her four new grandchildren, August, Lucas and Sienna, are expected to attend, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, and their son Archie and newborn Lilibet, also born this year, will remain in the US. The Queen's late husband Prince Philip will also be noticeably absent, in what will be her first Christmas without him in 73 years after he died in April aged 99. The Queen's annual Christmas lunch, usually held at Buckingham Palace, had to be called off last year when tougher restrictions were brought in amid the surge of the Delta Covid strain. But moves to cancel the event this year are reportedly being resisted. One day after the festive party, which will feature wine, crackers and a feast, the Queen will travel by helicopter to Sandringham in Norfolk, where she will spend Christmas itself. The royal family will later join her there on Christmas Eve and gather on December 25th, as is tradition, before visiting St. Mary Magdalene Church. A source told The Sun, currently it is going ahead but obviously it will be under review right up until the last moment.